this is Peter with another video. Uh, first, I'm just going to apologise for the bad lighting I've got. I've just got one small lamp here at the side and then the main light on the roof. Um, it's ten past eleven at night, so it's... I should have filmed this earlier, really, when there's a bit more daylight. I'm going to do something slightly different today. Uh, first, I'm going to give you an update on my pineapple and starfruit plants. Um, You've not seen, I don't think you've seen one of them before, and the other one could be quite interesting to show you. Um, the second half of this video, I'm going to be answering some questions, which are going to be all about me. Um, this was a video tag that Isaac did on the Isaac's Garden channel. Um, I'll leave a link to that on the screen somewhere. Um, so you can watch that video. He asks 30 questions, so I'm going to be answering those questions and adding a couple of my own at the end of this video. Um, and then I'm going to be tagging a few people myself, so we can get to know each other a little bit better. Um, first I'm going to start with the pineapple top here. Um, this pineapple top isn't the one that I showed you in the first video. Um, if you've been following the channel, you um, would have heard that that pineapple top died a long time ago. Um, I tried another one and I put that one into soil instead of using the water method and that one died as well. Um, they, seem, they seem to get this fungus growing all over them and then they just completely shrivel up and die. This pineapple top here um, I plant it straight into soil rather than put it into some water for some a few weeks or so to grow roots. I just decided to put it into soil. Um, like the other one I tried, but that one um, shriveled up. But this one decided to stay green and I want to show you inside this top crowned it. Okay, what you're looking at here is a top view of my pineapple top and in the middle you can see the new um, growth that came out of the top. Um, they've been there for three or four months I think and it hasn't got any bigger but I noticed um, not long after that it's put out these side shoots Okay, this side shoot or pup um, that's been growing out the bottom um, has been there for I'd say about two months now and it's only this last few weeks it started to get any bigger and uh, the one next to it over there um, came up probably a week after this one uh, but it hasn't changed in size um, so it looks like it's concentrating its energy on this one little growth rather than this main plant or this other side shoot here. Um, so I'm going to eventually have to repot this because it's sharing its pot with this mango tree <laughs> which you might just be able to see here. It's quite a new uh, mango tree this. As you may or may not know I have had a mango tree in the past which I had for over a year and it's that died um, earlier this year. So I decided to start a few more off. I'll keep you updated with that as well. Okay, I bet you can't guess what's in this little pot here. <laughs> yeah, it's my pineapple that I've grown from seed. Um, now, last time you saw this it was almost microscopic. <laughs> um, could only just about make make it out in the soil. So now I'm just going to show you the progress. Now it's got quite big now. Um, it's been doing a lot better recently. For some reason, it's decided to grow a bit more. 
I've had this um, top over it um, all the time so it only needs watering once every few weeks in fact I can't even remember the last time I watered it and the soil doesn't dry up too much because of this um, mini greenhouse that I've made um, it seems to like it though and it's, it's putting out new leaves it can just probably just see a tiny one down there and I was quite surprised with this actually I mean I knew that pineapples had seeds but I never thought that I'd be able to grow them because I just ne never really heard of it before two people that I subscribe to um, The Little Frugal Gardener and Diane I'll put a link to their channels uh, on the screen somewhere um, they've also been growing pineapples from seed and I think both of them have got much bigger ones than mine um, so I definitely recommend you check out their videos um, and also if you want to give growing them from seed a go I definitely recommend that as well I mean obviously it's going to take a lot longer to flower but I think it's still a fun project and it's worth a go. It depends on where the pineapples come from to whether you'll have any seeds in it. Um, all the pineapples that I've had have had seeds in but I've heard that some pineapples, I think it might be from Hawaii, um, are seedless because they don't have the pollinators there. Um, I might be wrong with that though. Um, but there is some places where they don't have the pollinators um, and so they have seedless fruit and the seeds are very tiny little brown or almost black coloured seed um, barely even notice it because most people just cut when they cut the skin off will cut the seeds out with it um, I might show you a video of that this is my saffron tree so far um, it's not gotten too big but it is still growing at these new branches um, quite regularly uh, it's been growing in this plastic bag basically um, it seems to be doing okay as you can see at the moment the leaves have folded in on themselves to keep themselves warm during the night um, in the day they usually these will open out completely flat so this leaf will be up here at the side um, on both sides this is the only starfruit seedling that I managed to get to grow um, so I'm gonna try to take care of this it's my pride and joy okay now I'm gonna answer the questions that Isaac left on his video tag um, I'm gonna just use my phone to see the questions. The first one is What is your favourite month and why? Also, what month were you born in? Um, my favourite month is December and that's also the month I was born in. It's... Um, I don't know, I just like Christmas. Um, I'm not really a fan of winter in that I don't really like the cold too much but I do like a bit of snow because it um, I, don't know, I, just, I just like the atmosphere at Christmas and the snow that I sometimes get which we last year I don't think we got um, much snow at all okay question number two what is your favorite color and why um, my favorite color is blue I don't really have a reason that I suppose it reminds me of the sky but yeah I don't know really <laughs> um, question number three what was your very first YouTube video about um, yeah my first video on YouTube was a plasticine rabbit um, jumping across the screen uh, I can show you that now actually Okay, question number four. What was your f first YouTube channel? Uh, my first YouTube channel was P 
Peter the Animator. Um, I still use that channel, but I don't upload uh, many videos these days. Um, I made that in sometime in 2006, and that's when I uploaded the video. Uh, I was into animation at the time, so that's where the name comes from. Um, question number five. Are you happy about the new YouTube layout? Why or why not? Um, yeah, I don't really like this YouTube layout they've got right now. Um, the reason for that is because my computer has quite a large screen. And so for some reason they've decided to put everything on the left side of the screen. So I've got half a screen with the video on and then the other half is completely blank which I don't like um, I preferred it when it was all in the middle really um, and also everything seems to be a lot harder to find but I've figured out where everything is it's just for some people might not be able to find the subscriptions for example what camera do you use for your videos? Um, right now I'm using a Canon 600D which I think in North America it's known as the Revel T3i. Okay, I'm going to miss a couple of these questions out. Um, number 12. What are your hobbies? Um, well, obviously gardening is one hobby. <laughs> um, I also, I'm also quite into photography, but not. I'm not a major photographer, but I do enjoy um, a little bit of photography. Um, I still enjoy animation. I've not made too many animations recently though, but I do plan to make some more. I'm also into web development. Um, I enjoy making websites and I'm working on a few projects at the moment. Um, might be able to tell you about them more in a few months time. What one tip would you give to any YouTuber? Um, don't take any negative comments personally, um, that would be my number one tip. What is your favourite fruit? Uh, mango is my favourite fruit. Okay, this is a slightly random question. Um, ice cream or frozen yoghurt? Well, I'm going to have to go with ice cream. Um, that it's because frozen yoghurt isn't really heard of in the UK um, it doesn't really exist I mean I have heard of it because um, from American programs and stuff but I don't actually, I've never actually tried it so I don't really know uh, what it tastes like um, favourite ice cream flavour uh, strawberry what is your worst food? I think I'm going to go with Marmite with that one. Um, you might have not heard of that before, but basically it's a, I think it's a yeast extract and it, it just tastes horrible. <laughs> um, what weird story do you have with your worst food? Um, when I was probably about, I don't know, eight maybe, um, my granddad let me try some Marmite on some bread, because um, he was having a Marmite sandwich and I was curious to know what it would taste like, um, I immediately spat it out. <laughs> Do you have any siblings? If so, how many? I have one brother. What do you want to be, or used to want to be, when you grow up? Um, when I was younger I wanted to be a vet, that was the first thing I remember saying I wanted to be. Um, then I decided I wanted to be an animator, and then a doctor. Now I want to be either a web developer or a software developer. What is your favourite state? Um, 
I've only been to the United States once, um, so I've only visited a few states. So I would say California. What languages do you speak? Um, obviously I speak English. <laughs> um, I know a bit of German from school. We had to learn it um, for about five years. Hello, my name is Peter and I'm 18 years old. Uh, I'm a student, student uh, biology, chemistry and education. Uh, Ich genieße Gartenarbeit und macht YouTube-Videos. Uh, mein Deutsch ist nicht sehr gut. Uh, I also speak a tiny bit of Spanish, but not that much. Okay, and now I'm going to add two of my questions to the tag. What is your favourite country or place that you have ever been to? Um, now, this was a tough one, but I think I'm going to go with country, and that my favourite country is Spain. Um, I go down, I go on holiday most years to Spain. Um, just like the country and people and the weather, really. And finally, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? I want to go to somewhere in the tropics, um, probably Indonesia or Malaysia, where they have the rainforest. Um, just quite interested in rainforest and tropical areas, so that would be my reason. Okay, um, now I've answered some of those questions, I'm going to tag a few people in this video. Um, you don't have to answer them, of course, um, and you can answer as many or as little as you like. Um, I'm going to leave your channel names in the description, um, and I'll send you a message. If I, and anyone else who wants to reply to this video, feel free to answer the questions yourself. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the update as well as the me answering these questions about myself.